tell me, how did you learn your American accent to do American accent so good? I, when I first came over here, I obviously I didn't have any money or anything, so all I did was just watch movies, like get movies from Blockbuster and just watch. <laughs> That's how you <laughs> learn? Old. Yes, yeah, and I would just watch movies and talk back to the screen. If I had an audition, I would try to do research and be like, what do people talk like in New Jersey? What do people talk like in... <laughs> Alabama that or whatever. Woo, New Jersey, yeah. That was, um, woo. Yeah. Normally, I mean, I always have to get a dialect coach to, you know, Yeah, I couldn't help afford with the it for a long time. At a certain point, I started to do movies where they would provide them, and I would just try to learn everything I could, like, outside of even the accent. Right, but you were doing. already so great at it just from watching things, huh? Mm. Have you ever tricked people into thinking you were American? No. The no. opposite. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite. No. When I'm... When I'm Myself, I cannot put on an accent. I feel like a liar. I feel it's so hard for me. Uh -huh. And I went into an audition once for Up in the Air, this big George Clooney movie. I really wanted to get it. And somebody said to me on my way in, the director does not like to know that people are putting on an accent. So in between takes, if he talks to you, respond with an American accent. And I just was like, I can't. I, I don't know how to do that. Mm. So... He was working with me on the scenes in between takes, and I was just like, <laughs> like this. Like he would give me a note, and he'd be like, you know, you got the note, and I was like, <laughs> and I think he thought I was like a very serious actress or something, because I just wasn't speaking other than in character. <laughs> so that's how you got by. Yeah. So you was able to slip it past him. Yeah, I did. Oh well. Yeah, I got the part, so it's working yeah. for you. Yeah. Season one of Yellow Jackson is so popular. Like, a psychic predicted it? I, yes. I have a psychic, Fatima, who I love very much. Wow. In the middle of the pandemic, I was talking to her, and she just said, all I see is work, work, work. And I, you know, at that moment in time, it sounded like a crazy thing to say. And I had done the pilot for Yellow Jackets and literally had not heard anything. Nobody had been like, it looks great. You know, I hadn't heard anything. So... She said, you've already done part of it and you're going to do more and it's going to be a huge hit. And I just was like, I guess I did this pilot. But and she was like, it's that. <laughs> so in that moment, you, you didn't even relate it to you. No, know, I just was like, what's she talking about? I guess it's and she was like, yes, it's this. And then she said, you're going to have a moment in your career that you felt like, because it didn't happen when you were 25, that it was not going to happen. Mm. And it's coming. And I was like, okay. And when and it hit. She's very good. <laughs> She's very good. She's very good. Tell us something good. Yeah. Oh my God. The show yeah. is picked up for the third season. Tell us about season two. Season two is crazy. If anyone's seen season one, it's pretty insane. And it just episode two of season two just ramps it up and it gets, yeah. It gets. It gets real crazy. That means make sure y'all watch that. Yeah. Said, that mean, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. And do your friends try to get secrets out of you about it? Yes, I got to a point where I almost left my <laughs> group chat with my best girlfriends because they were just always trying to figure out, you know, like, who's this guy? Who's that guy? What does this mean? And I was like, this is where I come to escape my work. <laughs> Not to talk like, about it. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it was funny because <laughs> we were talking about it in the green room and my friend who's my stylist was like, well, we're just trying to figure some, you know, like, like, no, okay. we're not giving yeah. anything yeah. away. So the casting of adults and younger actors is just amazing. Like, the actress that, like, plays you looks nothing... Nothing. ...like how she looks on, on camera. Yeah. She's, well, this looks that, similar, I think. Y'all look very similar. Yeah. But then, what does she look... Look at her I hair. Know. She's so gorgeous. She's so beautiful. And she's, like, the most talented most talented actress. I'm so honored to play that character with her. Sophie. Oh my God, that is yeah, amazing. I know, I know. She looks very different. And yeah. you're just like on a, a winning streak. I mean, you were in The Last of Us, which is a huge, huge show. Thanks. What was it like filming with the, the zombies? Um, it was horrific and disgusting. There is a scene <laughs> I took part in where swarms of uh, mushroom-faced zombie monsters come out of the ground. And it was all practical. People in makeup that took hours and hours. And they were stunt performers and circus performers and acrobats and people, like, tumbling and running as fast as they can towards you 
hundreds of people with this makeup on. <laughs> there was not a lot of acting <laughs> involved. You feel real? Yeah, I just was like, oh, just in a <laughs> panic. The whole, just, you know, it was really, yeah, there you go. That kind of oh, thing. Oh, yeah. And your husband is the one who encouraged you to take the part? Yes, yeah. Yeah? I'm always tired, so every time a job comes up, I'm like, oh, do I want to? And he was like, it's The Last of Us. It's his favorite <laughs> video game of all time. <laughs> yeah. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.